to priests in Ashe retreat. If you see the priests guarding the tree, the Aintami Mi Perosen, they don't taste the fruit because they're not going to eat fruit from their Asherah tree. Ushmul Amr Kagon to Amri, or they say, Hani Tamri, these dates that are growing from this tree, the Shikhra de Benitzrafi de Shasule Biyom Chagam, is meant to make beer for them to drink on the holiday that uh, where they worship that, uh, that Avodazar. Omra Meymar, Va'amrali Savi de Pumpadisa. The elders of Pumpadisa said, Shmuel. The Allah is like Shmuel. Regarding these criteria for the Yashay retreat. Morris is Maisve. Kate said, Mishtatvin Bamavui. You want to make a sheet of Mavuos, how do you do it? Mavim Chavishal Yan Vishal Shemin Vishal Tmoy. You bring a barrel of wine or oil or dates, Vishal Groigris or figs, Vishal Sharmine Peros. Then Imishilova belongs to him. So he has to give it through a Kenyan to the other people in the Mav. We tzarch lezakris. Im ishelahen. Now, if it happens to belong to everybody, tzarch lo dia. You have to inform everybody that we're going to make a shituf with it. Ubag biyam in akarka mashu. It doesn't say you have to lift it a tefach. Just you lift it a little bit. My mashu nami to kamar tefach. It means you lift it a tefach. Itmar. Shitufa mavuos. Rav Omar ain't sarch lezakos. That when you make a shituf mavuos. You don't have to be mezakeh to other people. No, you have to you have to be mezakeh to the other people. Now, but eruv tchumin, let's say I'm going to put an eruv tchumin for the city, for certain people. Rav Amar tzarich lezakos, I have to make a kinyan to the other person. Shmuel Amar ain't tzarich lezakos. So Bishmuel is Shmuel Hacha. Tanan, our Mishnah is like Shmuel, that you have to be mezakeh. And by heir of Tchumin, it doesn't say anything that you have to be mezakeh. So Shmuel fits. El Larav, who says here that you don't have to be mezakeh, what does he do with our mission? It says you have to be mezakeh. Well, we've discussed this many times. Rav Tana, who Palig. Rav can argue. He's a Tana. Tanayu, the Dhamma Rav Yudama Rav, Maisa Bekaloso, the daughter in law of Rabbi Oshaya, Shal Cholabes Amerchitz, who wandered off. Out of the city to the bathhouse before Shabbos, the Choshkola became dark. The Irvala Chamosa, but the daughter, the, the mother-in-law had made an Arab for her to allow her to walk back. But Rabchia heard about it and prohibited. You Babylonian, we're supposed to be Makel by Meru, not Machmir. Whenever you can be lenient. Be lean. So the question is, why was he stringent? Was it because Mishal Chamoisa Irvala, since somebody else had laid the Eruv, and therefore we learned that you have to be Mezakeh for the person, Mishal Deloy Zechzalah, and maybe Rabbi Shia was upset that she had used it because there was no Zikui done. Oi Dilma, maybe it would belong to the girl, Mishal Irvala, who Mishal Shalomi died, but she didn't know about it. So this was explained to me in the name of Rabbi Yechon, that the mother-in-law had made it and it didn't work because she didn't mezak it for the girl. When I come to Eretz Yisrael, go and go with this ladder. I'll give you a shortcut. And ask him this question. In this case, where Rabbi Shea didn't like, or Rabbi Shea didn't like the the Eru, why didn't he like it? Is it because Mishal Chamoisa Irvu Mishum Loi Zechzalo, or Idil Mishal Loi Irvu Mishum Shalom Idaita? Was it that? It was the mother in law's hers. Armor Levish of Hamois, ever lovish of Loisik Sumo. Armor of Nachman, what's the Allah and Actino? Echo de Ruvet Humin, Echo de Ruchat Seros, Echo Chitufa Mavuas. In all these cases, Sarek Lazakois. 
If you're going to do it on behalf of somebody else, you got to be mezakeh for the other people. What about Eruv Tafshilin? Yontif is Thursday and Friday, and you want to lay down a, a matzah and an egg in advance, like you, you're cooking, in a sense, for... Uh, that allows you to cook on Yontif for the Shabbos. Normally you can't prepare, let's say Friday for Shabbos. But if you if you you admit Sarif to what you did on Wednesday, that's how an Erev Tafshilin works. Now, Erev Tafshilin struck Lezakwe, so ain't struck Lezakwe. So let's say I'm going to put an Erev for you. Do I have to Mizaki you or not? What's your question? They said very clearly, you have to be Mizaki. It's posh he didn't hear. Because the Ishmael lay might boy lay. Then what question would he have had if he heard? What do you mean? By Erev Tchumin. The, they asked, what about Erev Tchumin? And they said, didn't Shmuel say that you don't have to be Mazakim? And he argued and said, So here also maybe he'll be he'll be different. Or says no, Achiyach is no comparison. Bishma has some pligi Rav Shmuel. We were we know that there was a machlokes Rav Shmuel. The Komash Malon we had to be told Allah kechurman demar vekechurman demar. We treat we go each one had their stringency. Aval Hacha he in our case here by Yeruv Tavshilin he used to shmiel and make a demand of poli. Somebody said you have to be mezake. Who did we hear that somebody argues with that? It's clear that we don't. And you and the halacha is like Shmuel that you have to be mezake by erev tafshili. This was a non-Jew who would guard like the weapons storehouse, Amrle, and he lived in the Mavi with them. So we learned you have to lease the Gentiles' ownership in the Chatzar for them to make an erev with them. So Amrle Oigerlan Rishusa. So they asked him, please lease us your Rishus. Lo Yogerle, he didn't want to. So also Kamei Rav Zeira, they went through and said, Amrle, Maila Mega Midvisu. Can we ask the wife? We can go around him. And if the wife does it, will that work? Amrle, Achi Amrle, Shlokish, Mivrig, Gavar Rabo, Manu Rab Chanina, Ishto Shaloda, Ma Reva Shalomi Daito. Yep. And a wife can be participate in the air even without the husband knowing. So Hahutur Zina, who was one of these Gentiles, David Shavus Rav Yehuda Baroshia, who lived in this neighborhood of Rav Yehuda, Amrule, again they said to him, Oyger Lan Rishusach, release us your Rishus in the Chatzar. Lo Yager Lui didn't want to do it. Also, Kavad Rav Yehuda Baroshia, Amrule, Ma'u Lemeger Midvisu, can we lease it from his wife? Lo Ava Biyad, he didn't have an answer. Also, the Kamei Rav Masna Lava Biyadi also didn't have an answer. Also, Kamei Rav Yudah Omer Lo Achi Amar Shmuel Ishto Shalodim Arav Shalomi Daito. A wife can participate in every even without the husband knowing. Freight the Gemara Meis. I'll ask you a kasha from a Baraisa. Noshim she irvu vishnei tafu shalomi das balem. A a a wife participated in an eruv or shituf mavuos without the husband knowing. Ain eruv and eruv. Vein shituf and shituf. That the Erev is not good, the Shittuf is not good. So how can you tell me in the name of Shmuel that the, uh, or Rav Hanina, well, one place was Rav Hanina and the other place was Shmuel, that you can go to the wife and they can do it. Loikash uh, depends. If the person's lack of participation would prohibit on the other people, then you're allowed to go to the wife. If they're, if, if they're irrelevant and they wouldn't answer, then you can't go to the wife. If their non-involvement would prohibit on the Bnei Amovoy, the Bnei Chatzah, then you can go to the wife. It makes logical sense. Otherwise, I'd have another kasha regarding Shmuel. Amr Shmuel, Echad Bnei Amovoy, you have a person in the Mavui that normally participates in the Mavui. And he doesn't participate this Shabbos. 
the other people can go into his house and take it against his will. So you see, you can clearly do it if it's going to cause other people to suffer. You can do it without the das of the person. You can do it against his will. So therefore, you can go to his wife. But that's only rogil in. That's because rogil, meaning he normally participates. So his lack of participation would asser. She ain't rogil. But if let's say he doesn't live there, he doesn't participate, and he doesn't asser, lo, then, then, then you can't do that without his will. Shmami no, that's a good right to what we said. Lema Messiah lay. Let us say that the following supports what we just learned. Right, we have a mavui, a three-sided alleyway that opens up to Rishasarabi. We know you can only carry in the mavui if you made a lechi or a koira. A koira is a cross beam on top, a lechi is a side beam. So the din is you can force somebody to participate in building the lechi or the koira. So that seems to be the same as this concept that if the person is going to prohibit, so the Lord says, no, shiny hasam, the lekam mechitzos. There, there's only three walls. So in order, so this mobile needs a lechi or koira. So he has, you, have, you can force them to participate. But, but in our case, we have mechitzos. Then you're not allowed to force lishnachrin a mitzad shiny. It's a side issue. Some say some say it's a it's a misprint. It should say based in shiny, uh, but other people learn that it's a side issue. It's not it's not ikur in the air. It's not a problem in the air of itself. You have an Asherah tree. Now, an Asherah tree is Osir Banoa. Now, a Lechin a Koira is a lot, a lot it's, you're not getting benefit from this because it's a mitzvah. It's a Tzad mitzvah. And mitzvah's lav lehenis nitnu. So using an Asherah tree, for you haven't you, you haven't benefited from it. So you can make the Lechi. No, a beam you could do, but not, the mandam or Koira, kosher came Lechi. The one who allows a beam certainly could use a lechi. Mandom or lechi only, but not a koira, because ketute michta shiure, because a shere tree you have to burn. So it's oimed l'sreifa. Oimed l'sreifa doesn't have any shear. Now, a koira needs a shear. It's got to be a certain size. So a lechi doesn't need any size. So that's why you can use it, use it for a lechi, but not a koira. Mishnah. Nismoida oichel. So you had a barrel that was going to be used with food or dates, and it was going to be used for the sheet of mavuos. And we're going to see that there's a certain shear of food that has to be there. What if the food deteriorated? There's less food. Moisif u You can add food and mezake to the other people. You don't have to inform them because they knew about it originally. The toys fall in. Let's say there's more people now moved into the mall. Moisi for mezake. You can add food and be mezake to them. But since they were not there originally, you have to inform them. Now, what's the sheer food that's in the barrel? Kamahu shiura. So, Bishman Shein Marubin. So, there's a lot of people. We'll see what that means. Mozun stay sudis lakulam. You have to put food for two meals. Some hold it six eggs, six beitzos, some hold it's eight beitzos. There's manshein muatin, when they're less than the amount that you need for a lot of people. You need to a dried fig for each person. That's when you're laying down the original Eruv. When you're, you laid your Eruv and now it deteriorated as long as even a minimal is remaining, the Eruv is still good. In fact, when you do a sheet of mavuos, you don't have to make an air of chatseris. However, why do we demand that you do it? Otherwise, the children growing up, they're not going to know the din of air of chatseris. Now, that which we said, if the food decreases, you can add. 
you only have one kind of food, my ear and this mine. So what do you mean it got less? I feel kalonami. If it got completely uh, consumed by a rat, you'd have to add, and then you have to be modia. And let me shnei minim. We're talking about two types of food. And if it's talking about two types of food, I feel in ismat namilo. Then if it gets decreased, you don't necessarily need to replace it. Titania, kala oichel. So if you put food in a barrel and now it went away, mimin echad ein sarach lo idia. You don't have to, when you add more food, you don't have to, add, to inform them because they knew about it in the beginning. We're talking about here, they used to put a barrel that would sit there all year. Shabbos for Shabbos, they didn't renew it every Shabbos. Now, Mishnei Minim, Tzarech Loidia. You do have to inform them Mishnei Minim. So, Eboi Seh Mimin Echod, Vibar Seh Mishnei Minim. I can answer you both ways. Eboi Seh Mimin Echod, my Nismo Eit, Nismat, Nismat Meit. What does it mean is small eight? It means it went away completely. And in a chanami, that's the case of Kalalagamri, which we said you're allowed to replace, replenish it completely. And if you want, I can tell you we're talking about two different kinds of foods. But the din, but if then if it went away completely, then you this in that you have to be moidia, that's only if it went away completely. But if some a little bit remains, then you don't have to inform them. You can be mezaka them only with the new food that you added. Then we said and there were more people who moved into the Mavoi. You add more food, you're mezaka for them. That the Chachomim argued with Rabbi Yudah. It's not. Amr Rabbi Yudah, Bamed Rama Morim Beiruvei Tchumim. That's by Eruv Tchumim. When you're going from city to city. That you need to be modia and you be mezake. Aval be ruve chatsiros ma arvin bein ladas bein shalolodas. You don't need the permit because an erev chatsiros is certainly a benefit for everybody who lives in the chatser. So you can do it whether they know or not. Erev tchumim they may not want to go to the city east or west. You got to know the individual person. Aval be ruve chatsiros ma arvin bein ladas bein shalolodas. So Pshita the Chalukin. So of course they're arguing with Rav Yehuda. Why would you think not? You have a Chatzor that applies to, you have two Mavos that are on either side of the Chatzor. So there maybe you need his knowledge because he might want to go to one Mavo and not the other. You only have one Chatzor, one Mavo. It's clearly a benefit for him. Ela, 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 maybe he doesn't need, even Rabbi Yudah would hold, he doesn't need to be Moidiyayim. Kamash Malan, that they're arguing as well in that issue as well. Mishnah said that you need Merubin and less than Merubin. How much is that? Kamahi Merubin. Amr Yudah Meshmol Shmona Serbner. 18 people. That if you have 18 people, it's called Merubah. But only 18 and not more. Shmona Serbner. Lo Ema Mishmona Serbner. I mean, 18 and above. Where did he chop Shmona? So my Shmona said the Nakat. Amr Yisak Bray Rav Yudah Ledidi Mefushlo Minei Da Abba Kol Shil Machak Kol Amazon Shtei Sudas Beinem Beimagas Koregres Al Kol Echad Beachad. Eighteen is because if you take the food for two meals and you divide it between the eighteen people, each one will have at least a Koregres. So that's Heinei Merubin. The Sagi Beimazon Shtei Sudas. It'll be enough. Food for two Sudas will take care of eighteen people. Anything less than that, the low, hey, hey, what in you? And, and then you have to make sure that each one has at least a fig's worth. And now we learn something else. Agav Orcha, Kamash, one, the Shtei Sudas, Havin Shmon Asar Groy Groy. 18 figs is Muslim Shtei Sudas. And like I said, there's Machlokas, whether it's six eggs or eight eggs. Okay, this Mishnah we will learn tomorrow. Oh, we can learn the Mishnah. You can use any food to make an erva to make a sheet, except for water and salt. You've got to make it out of a, a loaf of bread. Let's say you used 10, 10 pounds of flour and made a huge loaf. If it was a broken loaf, you cannot use a broken piece.
And if you made a whole loaf, Kiko Ki Isra, Bushale, you made it like a small coin, but it's intact, then Ma'arvin Bo, you can use such a loaf for an Eru. Okay. 